Hey everyone, uh, today we got a four pack of stories for you guys. Maybe it's a three pack. No, it is a four pack. I had to double check my notes here. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. Uh, you guys remember we've been talking about uh, the Nintendo Direct that's supposed to happen this month. We have a potential update for that. Uh, a big rumor coming out in regards to the Nintendo Switch Online that isn't from your typical rumor inside sources, right? You know, the Samus Hunters, the Zippos, the Nate the Hate, uh, even Jeff Grubb. Like, none of these places are. It's actually an outlet that literally every time they have backed a rumor or stated their own rumors, um, they're, they've been right. And you'll understand uh, why that is when I get to it. Uh, there's obviously some other stuff happening as well. Uh, some stuff in regards to a certain big name third party game uh, that's slated to come to Switch. Uh, and obviously some updates for that. So let's just dive right in. Uh, after I remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's right. That thing you see up there, it's in the background of our video. We are giving away one of these platforms. Well, literally, uh, day one. Uh, we're giving away right now. All you got to do is be subscribed to enter, and then we will have a live stream in early October uh, that you need to be at uh, and all that jazz. But literally, you just got to be subscribed to enter, uh, and I wish... All of you guys' luck uh, and your guys' continued support, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, and obviously all any of the community support that happens during our live streams or to become a member or, or all that stuff, all helps support what we do as a channel, obviously helps us expand and do content more often, and obviously helps support us continuing to do giveaways. Uh, I like to give back to the community as much as possible, and I have no idea what giveaway is going to be next. We do have the holidays coming up, so I'm sure there'll be a nice little uh, package happening in the month of October to for, for the rest of October after uh, OLED comes out and then obviously heading all the way through Christmas. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if you guys any, have any ideas for future giveaways, just let me know down in the comments. I'm always you know trying to plan things ahead of time. Got to make sure I got that budget set aside. All right, folks, let's just jump right in, and we're going to start with the story that really originated, I think, from the Nate the Hate podcast. We talked about this the other day, about how we talked about how some certain emulators that have been in existence, and we've known have been in existence for a while, but that was really it. He didn't really dive into, um, you know, he, he put his personal opinion out there, but not really saying that he has any sources saying X, Y, or Z is going to happen for Nintendo Switch Online, aka expansion into Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and all that jazz. Well, it turns out that when Nintendo Life uh, went to cover this story, uh, or the, this potential story, they did mention that podcast, but then they went on in their article to say they have actually confirmed with their own sources that Nintendo is about to add Game Boy and Game Boy Color to Nintendo Switch Online services this year. Uh, that is obviously a really, really big get, because at this point, it's all been just kind of speculation, uh, including from Nate the Hate, but in this case, we actually have Nintendo Life throwing their backing behind the entire idea of Game Boy and Game Boy Color games coming to Switch this year. Now, if you think logically, it could make some sense. If Nintendo thinks N64 games are too valuable, which is weird since they've had them on Virtual Console before, but let's assume that they do think they're too valuable. Uh, if they do think, uh, you know, maybe Game Boy Advance, I would like to see Game Boy Advance come over, but there's a lot of studios who are potentially remaking and remastering Game Boy Advance games, including Nintendo, like with Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot. So maybe that kind of takes that off the table for now. Uh, but it, and obviously we all want to see GameCube and Wii and all that eventually on Switch. We obviously get all the Wii U games ported over. But I, I think in earnest, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color make a lot of sense to come to the platform. Obviously, uh, the big concern for us as Nintendo fans isn't necessarily what platforms are going to be added, although we obviously have all of our favorites and Game Boy is a favorite from my childhood. The question is, what is the launch lineup going to be available and how often is it going to be updated and what titles will be updated? When you have Game Boy and Game Boy Color, which Nintendo considers the same generation coming, there's you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of games, but a lot of the games involved licensing. A lot of some of the best games were licensed games on that platform. Uh, you and you could expect to, you know safely to see most of Nintendo's offerings someday. Plus, obviously, games like Tetris. But how many of those other games that are outside of that spectrum are we going to get? And how often is the real big question? Uh, we have seen that the NES and SNES app really slowed down in updates after really the first six months of each of them launching, uh, and then the games we get added today are kind of, um, I'm not going to say bad games, uh, but not necessarily 
the games we would like to see added. And a lot of that's because of licensing issues. And we have to wonder what's going to happen when you add Game Boy and Game Boy Color into the fray as well. Now, from Nintendo side of things, obviously all I expect as a Nintendo fan and Nintendo consumer is that bare minimum, any game they own the rights to be put you know, on their virtual console or, you know, the Nintendo Switch Online service here. And they still haven't even done that with the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So things aren't really going to be different with Game Boy Color. But the more platforms that they get added to Nintendo Switch Online, the better it is. I think the long haul hope is that this isn't a service that's going to be reset. I kind of hope this is something they continue to build off of into their next generation platform where we have these same games that are available now also available there. I think this is a better long haul idea than Virtual Console was where it reset every generation. But again, this might reset too. That's the thing. We don't know how these things are built and if they're actually going to be you know, forward compatible with future generations of hardware or if Nintendo even cares to do it that way. But with it being a subscription service, why wouldn't you? Because if you ta if you have Nintendo Switch Online and you have tens of millions of subscribers to it that play those games, and then you move to the next platform, um, what's going to, like, it, wouldn't it upset them to suddenly have less value because they upgraded their system? I, again, this is obviously something for Nintendo to worry about. Uh, but, yeah, it, it obviously is a concern. I do appreciate that they do make some online modes and stuff available and update the games a little, make them look a little, better, a little bit better on widescreen. But still, uh, I, I just I, I really want to uh, see what the lineup is going to be. I think that's really the big deciding factor on how good this is. But I fully expect this to be talked about in what appears to be a new Nintendo Direct at some point in September. Now, this next uh, one is a bit of a rumor. So, you know, tinfoil hat. Maybe I'll put my hat on my hat for this one. Uh, this one comes from a Dextero article, uh, which is a, from, from a completely different country uh, than the United States. So I, I can't read it natively. So I'm actually going to read the information off of the uh, Gaming and, and Rumors subreddit over on uh, well, on Reddit. And uh, they, they have a, a link to the article, and I'll put a link down in the description. It says, for many franchises, there were two glimmers of hope. And we're talking about a major game coming to Switch. The first, obviously, was a return to normality once the pandemic restrictions could be lifted. The second was the release of Overwatch 2. So, yes, folks, we are talking about Overwatch 2 and it coming to Nintendo Switch, um, which, according to the sources we spoke with, have become synonymous with a hard reset of the league and a potential resurgence of enthusiasm among fans for the IP. When rumors started to circulate that the game was going to face delays, the team's owners wanted to know how long realistically that would be the case. On August 7th, the reputed Overwatch insider Metro spoke publicly about these rumors, stating that from what I can gather, a release in 2022 2 does not seem likely anymore. An internal Activision uh, source told Dextero that this was incorrect and added that getting the game out as soon as possible was now a high priority, which I suspect Activision Blizzard getting any big game out is a high priority at this point because they want to distract people from the ongoing lawsuit, but we're not going to talk about that here, but just know I'm aware of it and it's a pretty shitty thing. An internal Activision source told us this was incorrect, and he said, we're more than aware that we need to get it out, they said. So the word is the dev team has been told to lock in the features that the game has, get it fixed, and get it shipped. We're looking to get it out before summer 2022. Another source, a member of franchise management, also corroborated this version of events, saying, we've been told the aim is for quarter two of next year. The timing of the release will factor in the league schedule because obviously they don't want to switch game versions in the middle of a season. So they're trying to time seasons ending in current Overwatch to the launch of Overwatch 2. Now, obviously, um, this seems to be coming from sources that are claimed to be inside of Activision Blizzard and, and the actual development team. So we'll have to see what happens. Overwatch 2 obviously was a game announced quite some time ago. It is announced for Nintendo Switch, and they reminded us in an interview back in late July that it is still going to be coming to Nintendo Switch, and they're trying to make it day and date. It's just going to have some sacrifices, which we presume to be resolution, um, texture detail, and possibly the lighting systems. We'll have to see if that gets touched. And then maybe frame rate. Obviously, for a multiplayer game like this, we would hope it could maintain 60 FPS. I know Paladins has been trying to do that. Uh, so it would be nice to see that. We already have Overwatch on the platform. So it would be nice to see them prioritize keeping that. But if they cut that back to 30, that could be a realistic expectation. So there will be cutbacks, but it's supposed to be their day and date. At least that's the current plan for Nintendo Switch. They have been developing it you know, the Switch version and, and, you know, all that alongside all the other versions. So we'll have to see how it goes, but it is a major game that is supposed to come to Switch next year. So, uh, yeah, I guess at this point, just stay tuned.
Now, last week there was a partnership uh, between Puma and Animal Crossing announced by the official Puma Twitter account. And Puma has actually worked with Nintendo on other merchandising crossovers in the past, such as with the Mario series. So this crossover makes sense, especially when you consider Animal Crossing New Horizons is the number two best-selling game on Switch and the fastest-selling game in Switch history. So I don't know if it's ever going to overtake number one. Sales have really uh, dipped in 2021. But... Um, it upset some fans because obviously we've all been waiting for a major update for Animal Crossing and there's been some rumors around some major updates coming. We know the holidays are coming so there has to be at least holiday updates. Uh, but setting all that aside, today we're talking about the Puma and Animal Crossing uh, you know, partnership because we got a look at a couple of the items and we've gotten looks at them already once. The back of a sweatshirt and the tennis shoes in particular but now we have some some new images some closer up images and i've yet to talk about it so i wanted to bring it up uh, in particular i actually think the kicks actually look really really cool uh something that i might even consider wearing in certain uh, situations, I'm not afraid. You know, I know I don't seem to wear gamer gear that often, but I'm not afraid to wear gamer gear. Um, you know, I got this hat, so I, you know, I know I'll wear this hat in public. It doesn't bother me. So it's one of those things where, with certain attires and certain clothing get-ups I have, I would be willing to rock those shoes. And I, I do enjoy Puma shoes. I don't, I don't buy them very often. Obviously, I assume these shoes are probably more targeted at children. And I, if I know my kids are all going to want a pair, uh, but yeah, I'm, this is just a pretty neat crossover, and it'll be even cooler. You know, if I see this in some of our local shoe outlets, uh, you know, at some point next year because it usually takes about six months before stuff like this ends up being available uh, in general stores even though they'll have online orders so I don't know I just think it looks cool and I just wanted to, to bring it up in case people weren't aware of it on my channel now lastly I just wanted to talk briefly about the Nintendo Direct we put up a new poll today asking people when they think a Direct will happen obviously our last video had, had some sources saying it's happening this week I have no idea when a Nintendo Direct is happening in September, my money is obviously on any time before you know September 13th and earlier. So basically any time before September 14th based on prior Nintendo Directs. But it could happen at any point. It could also just not happen this month. Uh, although that seems really unlikely by my estimation. Even last year when we didn't have a Direct, we did end up having the Mario 35th anniversary celebration. So there's been something every September like that. Uh, and they actually had, uh, they technically had a Direct. We just didn't wasn't a general direct, right? It was that partner direct showcase. But anyways, the point is that there's going to probably be something. And I just wanted to know that there is actually no update today. There was no announcement by Nintendo. Uh, although there has been like this one tweet with this image going around about a Nintendo direct tweet from the, uh, that, that supposedly went up uh, for 9-4, which would be a Saturday. That'd be a really weird day. They technically have done Sundays for some things before. So you can't rule out a Saturday, but it, it, Nintendo of America doesn't work on weekends, so that's usually why they don't do uh, weekend announcements like that. That being said, um, it's obviously fake. Uh, I have done all the research into it. Um, there are ways to check Twitter accounts that even if they throw up a tweet and delete it within literally a second of when it went live, um, you could still have a record that that tweet was at least made, even if you can't see the contents of that tweet. And yeah, Nintendo of America never made such a tweet today. So th it's just funny watching um, all of the speculation and rumors and, and all this about a Nintendo Direct this month kind of getting a little bit out of control, which um, again, pretty safe bet that we're getting one this month. When? That's the big question. But uh, yeah, I, I just kind of find it funny that there's stuff like this floating out there that's making people feel um, a little bit more excited than maybe they should be. Uh, I'm pretty excited, by the way, for a new Nintendo Direct. So I'm not saying don't be excited. It's just you know, let's 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 just wait a little bit. Obviously, the the bare minimum we expect are the rest of the games this year to be re-advertised in it. Well, just from there, you know, the new Smash character I think is the one expectation most people have because it's supposed to come this year, so it should be unveiled in a direct. We would think doesn't have to be. They have unveiled them outside of directs, but you would think it's going to be unveiled in this direct. Beyond that, it's anyone's guess what they're going to show. So um, I, I think that. You know, I, I want to give some some Nintendo fans, a lot of you guys that watch my channel, some credit. Although we are obviously incredibly hyped for a new Direct. Um, we are also seem to be a lot more in control. I feel like the overhypedness of the Switch Pro rumor mill kind of started making fans go, look, obviously we're probably getting a Direct, but let's like chill a little, right? Like let's not allow ourselves to get way up here. So like when it's not what we want it to be, um, you know, that, that, we, that we get super disappointed still going to happen of course but i feel like at least in my community we've been a lot more in control of our emotions when it comes to stuff like this but i'm still incredibly excited for it um but yeah i i feel like obviously uh 
we're, we're, we're more willing to just take in the information, consider the possibilities, and then we just let happen, we'll let, let what happened happen, you know? Hey, this platform back here, I'm getting one day one just for me too. I'm not just I'm not just selling it. I actually play in handheld quite a bit, and I don't even have an OLED screen in my house besides my phone. So it'll be really cool uh, just to be able to have that you know at my disposal. Plus, uh, you know, my Switch has gotten a little beat up, and this might just be the Switch I let my children use sometimes. As you know, I'll, I'll obviously keep the OLED one just kind of on lockdown for me. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. I've had a lot of fun making this video today. Um, and yeah, I did a weird thing. I upgraded to Windows. 11 on my editing computer my, my new, the new one that was just kind of sent to me but then customized uh really weird thing about that i don't really know what the point of the update was <laughs> why it, it, it's so weird i i don't really know what's going on but anyways that's it that's what i got for you guys today thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video